Welcome. In this three-part series, we'll take a look at how you can migrate your existing SharePoint uh, classic UI web part, in our case, a script editor web part like this alert right on the top, to a SharePoint modern UI web part. And in this first part of the tutorial, we'll take a look at how you can migrate basic scaffolding as well as HTML of the web part. And in the next part, we'll take a look at how you can migrate user experience. And finally, we'll wrap up with migrating of the actual JavaScript logic and the functionality. So this tutorial will assume that you already are running Node.js in your environment and as well as Yeoman SharePoint Solution Generator. And if you don't, below there will be a link on how to configure those. So first things first, we need to create a client web part project for the modern UI. So I'm going to open Node.js, which you would have installed earlier. And I'm going to create a new folder right on my desktop called New Alerts. I'm going to go right into that folder and execute this particular command for a SharePoint solution generator to start. It's going to ask us what is the name of the solution. We're going to leave it as New Alerts. Next, we're going to pick the platform target. I'm going to leave it as SharePoint Online. We're going to use a current folder, which is New Alerts. To simplify our deployment, we're just going to say yes here. And yes, we are creating a web part. The name of the web part will be new alerts. We're going to leave description as is. And since our web part is just regular JavaScript web part, we're going to pick uh, no JavaScript framework. Of course, if you have a framework that you used in your web part, you can pick those. So SharePoint can, or SharePoint Solution Generator can provision all of the necessary dependencies. So what's happening now is uh, SharePoint Solution Generator will create all the scaffolding, all the ensemble project based on the information that you have provided. And that'll be our starter project for the solution. It's been about five or so minutes and SharePoint Solution Generator has finished uh, provisioning all the scaffolding. You can see it zipped through the screen just a second ago. Um, so what that does is provisions the, uh, the basically the web part project. I'm going to open my Visual Studio code and uh, click open folder. And in here right on my desktop, I'm going to have this new alerts that I've created. So under SRC, this is where our, all of our source code is. We're going to focus for now in this part of the video under uh, the new alerts web part dot TS. And in the next video, we'll take a look at the SCSS, which is the CSS. So we'll start with the TS first. So our goal, first of all, is to um, go ahead and see what the what the current web part looks like. What, what is this that we've created looks like, and then how we're going to modify it to make it uh, to make it something like this, uh, what we want it to be. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, open Node.js again, and I'm going to run a command called gulp serve. And what this does is provisions a local uh, or a web server that will take this project in this current directory, the new alerts, and it'll create an environment where I can preview my web part. So here it's done that. It's going to open the browser. All right, so this is our test page. I'm going to click the plus button. Here's our new alerts. And it basically has this demo code. Very simple. So let's turn this into our actual web part. So I'm going to delete this. Uh, first things first, I'm going to open my page and press F12. And that'll open my code editor. That'll open the code editor. Um, and I'm going to cover over this particular web part and just basically copy the HTML of the web part. And then we're going to update the rest of the things. So this part here under public dot render or public render method. So the easiest thing to do is to override this with our new HTML. So I'm going to say this DOM element dot inner HTML equals and paste my code I'm going to format it a little bit. And that's basically it. I'm going to save my file. And what what gulp does automatically is updates this project and refreshes all of the source. So if I go back to my page here again, and try to add this web part again, I'll see the new version of this updated web part. I'm going to refresh the page and here it is. So as you can see that I can access the properties of the web part. And for now, we just have default properties. There isn't anything useful here. And in the next part of the series, we're going to take a look at how we can make updates to that. But as simple as that, you can easily move your old web part HTML into project and render it. So stay tuned to the next segment when we talk a little bit about how to migrate the look and feel of your web part.